What's going on everybody? Today I want to show you how to add a custom network to MetaMask. It's extremely simple if you use this process that I'm going to show you. Otherwise, it is not. So, let me show you a little trick that I found. Go to Token Magic. This is tokenmagic.app and it is trustworthy, 100%. They could be trusted and it makes it so much easier because what I'm going to show you on how they do it, all the information that's needed to add the custom network, they have it here for you and they just automatically just put it in. So you don't have to go find the proper information because the proper information is not something easy to find and there's ones that are outdated and there are scams. It could jeopardize the funds in your wallet. So you, you have to find the proper information and that's not easy to do. This way, they're a trusted website. They have the information already set on, on their end and they just put it right in. So let me show you how to do it. When you go to tokenmagic.app, you right here, you're going to, if it doesn't automatically connect to your wallet, you're just gonna press this right here and then it'll ask you to connect and then you connect. Then what you do is you go down to the chain that you want. They have all these chains, all of them. So these are the basically all the chains that you would ever basically need. You can do them all at once, or you can do them as you need them. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. So let me see which one I haven't done yet. Um, let's go over here to, we could try this one here. So you click, once you're connected, your wallet's connected, you click add, it's gonna bring you to this page, and then it is going to, you click approve, and then switch networks that will bring you to the new network so now as you can see that network right there if not you would have to click on the network tab right here this will show you all the networks that you have in your wallet and then you would click add network here is where you would need to know the network name the network rpc in the url the chain id the symbol and block explorer url which they're saying here is optional once you have all that information that you went and found wherever you found it on the internet and hope that it's legit then you would click save and that's how you would do it token magic also they have a few other things that they do on their website you can actually add custom tokens to your wallet now if you buy a new token, sometimes they ask you if you do want to add that token to your wallet. Sometimes not, depending on where you bought it. So you have to then go, let's go over to BSC scan. This is where I have these tokens set, set meta DM. And they're actually, hey, look at this, 74 holders, 33,000 token supply. If you haven't heard of it already, I suggest before that, token holders starts rising you look into that because i actually have a video about it you could take it you could take a look at it so what would you do to add the custom token if you were going to purchase meta dm you would go to the bsc scan if it was on the binance blockchain you have to go to the explorer that's for the blockchain you're buying the token in here it would be meta dms on the b on the binance blockchain so we're going to use bsc scan you would find here where it says contract and then you would right click on that you would copy it and then you go back up to your metamask open that up go to assets and then right here it says import token you would do that right click on token contract address paste it Oh, we're in the wrong, that's why. We are on the wrong chain. You have to go to the chain that the token is for. Here, it would be the Binance Smart Chain. I already have the Meta token on this wallet. So let's go over to a different wallet that I don't have it. And then you would go to import tokens, right click, and paste it. So you would symbol and then that's where you put the decimal and then go to add token and right there you go import tokens and then if you had 
purchase it because some people might purchase tokens and then think because they're not in their MetaMask that they're not there. Not true. Before you even put that token in, what you can do is you go right here, click those three dots, and then click View and Explorer. This drop down, that's where the token will be. It'll be in there. That's how you can find the Explorer. So if you purchased it, it's not in your MetaMask. Go to your MetaMask, click the three dots, click on View and Explorer, and then it'll bring you to here. You get this little drop down, and then say you wanted to add cake, click, click on cake, then you right click, copy it, go back up. Now remember the cake's decimals was 18. Go to asset, go down, import, right i'm sorry go to custom token right click paste it cake will populate add it and i have 0.33 cake and then import so now i'll see that right there that's about it i mean it's very simple but not if you don't know how to do it this is exactly why i'm showing you guys because before i found token magic and had to find out if they were legit or not i had to go find the information the information for the networks are extremely difficult to find you th you would think they would be right in front of your face or they would be posted on the website for the chain you're looking to do but they're not it's i don't know why this is the simplest way to do it i appreciate you guys listening and i'll see you on the next video